Um, Fat-Ass 45's luck has finally run out. People underestimate the role um, that, the, that the role luck or chance plays in an individual's life. Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, and Bill Gates are brilliant and accomplished, but more than a little good luck has helped them. Sergey Brin and Larry Page almost sold Google for about $1 million, when in reality it's worth, it's worth nearly $1 trillion. And so it is with Fat Ass 45. Fat Ass 45 has been lucky his entire life, but as anyone who has ever been at Krebs tables, uh, Krebs table, Krebs, any Krebs table knows, that good luck doesn't last forever. Um, pundits, political scientists, and various other promoters of the big ideals can opinion can opine um, can opinion all they want about the larger forces and deep strategy that got Fat S Forty Five into the White House, and there certainly was plenty of a of agency in Fat S Forty Five's rise. But the fact is, he's also got uh, got he also got a lot of luck along the way. When, um, he technically didn't win the Republican nomination, but it was a close run. It was a close run thing. Fat Ass 45 took longer to secure the nomination than any other Republican nominee since 1976. And in the GOP primaries, Fat Ass 45 faced the most inexperienced field since 1964 when none of his opponents had been met on the national ticket. Since 1948, only three Republican nominees had not had any previous experience, which had been, or national experience anyway, Dwight Eisenhower, Barry Goldwater, and George, Bo and George W. Bush. Consider just some of the luck he had had on the way to the White House. Jeb Bush had aggressively pursued former Romney staff and donors boxing out Romney. Romney had run twice before and was the strongest contender. Jeb pushed up Romney and, and then flopped spectacularly. <coughs> no CNN. Um. <coughs> oh, um, sorry. No CNN president other than Jeb Zucker would ever have courted a, a candidate appearing to tilt the race in his direction by providing an enormous trouble of free coverage. Hillary Clinton's campaign fumbled its targeting, polling, and the creative content and really achieved trifecta of failure in a general election for anybody running for president. All presidential candidates make verbal gaps, but Clinton seemed to be determined to drive away big parts of the traditional Democratic coalition. Fat S45 definitely took advantage of the opportunities afforded him, and his team was much better at targeting and content. But it is hard to come up with a past American um, a, a presidential election where so many fortunate factors come together or came together for one candidate. Um, even as fat, even as a squatter, Fat S45 had a, had a lucky streak, um, supposedly a growing economy and a fairly peaceful international scene. Conflicts started under Bush and Barack Obama, and they were and are dis and are and they are diminishing. The Democrats um, had cornered themselves into pursuing a doomed to fail impeachment trial, but left Fatus forty five higher in the ballot test against Biden than before. But that, but the um, coronavirus upended all that. A natural phenomenon, impervious to criticism, and uninterested in human preference, the short the survivor, the virus short circuited the economony. <coughs> Fat S Fat S 45's best issue area. The protest sparked by the death of George Floyd likely would not have been as extensive and long-lasting if that wasn't for unemployment and cabin fever. For, fa for Fat S 45, these problems exposed his loose management style, conflicting messages, inconsistent policy, his domestic policy advisor, publicly feuding with health advisors, chaos that never mattered when times were good, has been damaging with the country facing a serious um, issue. Fat S forty five's numbers are on the on the coronavirus and on civil unrest have been consistently and badly underwater with independence. The virus spreading through the White House will not help those numbers at all. <clears throat> As Warren Buffett is wont to say, it's it's only when the tide it's only when the tide goes out that you learn who has been swimming naked. That's a kind of an odd reference, but you know, I don't know. The problem for Fat S forty five is that he needs to gain voters needs to gain votes on Biden and his time is running out. If he is on the shelf recuperating at Walter Reed, he cannot he cannot exploit some of the errors Biden made in the debate. A delay in the next debate would be problematic as votes are being cast every day. In addition, an aggressive Fat S forty five in the face of a clear failure by the White House would look foolish. Fat S forty five's best hope is that he that is is that his reduced presence and subsequent backing and media coverage will put the spotlight on Biden. Biden's keep away strategy has been working, but he made some mistakes in the recent debate and a stonewalling on Supreme Court packing is a challenge for him. Often in politics, the best strategy is to lay low, and while your opponent sabotages himself, 
Fattest 45 has never figured that out or has found it simply impossible to not be the center of attention. Just maybe Fattest 45. Being forced off the stage will help Democratic voters might figure the race is over and turnout might fall. That is clearly a concern for Team Biden as it recently has done an about face and started in person um in person canvassing. <clears throat> all all things considered, contra contracting the coronavirus is much more likely to put a lid on Fat Ass Forty Five's ability to collect the votes he needs to pass Biden. Fat Ass Forty Five is is considered to be lucky, but he's not. But even the hottest roller at the table cannot avoid the seven forever. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ramp and Mike, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.